I had everything that I wanted and everything that I had dreamt of. I landed really cool jobs and opportunities. I traveled a lot. I never showed anything negative about myself. Depression doesn't have a look. You never know who has it. I have it and I wanted to tell my friends and family and that was my way of telling my story. I grew up in a really strict Caribbean household where we were told whatever happens in this house stays in this house and don't really cry in public. I was diagnosed when I was 23. I was living in Los Angeles and I had just had my first suicide attempt. It was a relief to kind of see it on paper and to know that this is actually what's going on with me. I tried to find a therapist. It wasn't for me, so I just honestly started talking to my friends and being more vulnerable and having more conversations about this. And that's when I felt a lot better. Once I released the film, I received a wave of positive feedback from girls around the world who saw themselves in my story. They wanted to know how to be more open with themselves and their own family. So I wanted to create a place where we can all discuss these issues and not feel like we're so alone. I created Sad Girls Club to create community and remove the stigma that surrounds mental health conversations. Girls come to meetings alone or shy, and by the end of the meetings, they're all walking away exchanging Instagram pages or emails or phone numbers to hang out, and it's such a beautiful thing to see. Today, to maintain my mental health, I do a lot of yoga, running, a lot of physical exercises now. I love to use the word no. It's something that I think as women, we should become more comfortable with doing, just saying no and saying, like, I need time for me, I need time to reset. I have a really nice plant collection that I love, <laughs> which all sounds really boring, but you really have to appreciate the small moments. I feel like we just try to put the best parts of ourselves online, but that's not the real, that's not what we all know is going on internally. If anyone is watching this and has depression or any other type of mental illness, I would say reach out to somebody that you trust, someone who will just listen to you and not judge you. It's the hardest thing to do, but it's honestly been the most fulfilling thing and it's helped me just grow within my mental health journey 1000%. My teacher said to me, it's okay to cry, it's okay to have feelings, it's okay to cry in public and I've been doing it ever since. <laughs>